in soccer, especially when it's full like it is today. Inter Miami at Atlanta United, underway from Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Around Muyamba. Dixon Arroyo. Yedlin coming forward. Arroyo will take it himself. It's off the crossbar. Campana there. Oh! What a goal! Miles Robinson, calm, cool, collected with all the pressure in the world around you. A hectic moment. How's that for two touches with the third being in the back of the net? Leonardo Campana has been massive for Inter Miami with Messi, without Messi. His sixth goal in his sixth straight game. Who turns? Over to Edwin Mosquera. Lennon overlapping. Floating it in! Headed off the post! And kept out by Callender! Muyamba thinks it's in. Has it been given? It has! It's an equalizer for Tristan Muyamba at Atlanta United! Now the question will be, I love the overlapping run from Brooks Lennon. He leads all MLS fullbacks with assists, but can you definitively say that this doesn't cross the line completely? And because the assistant referee raises the flag, without goal line technology, you can't 100% say this is clear and obvious over the line. So now you're gonna have to go back to the initial call on the field. That is extremely difficult. At that moment, it feels like Drake Callender's right hand is behind, but from that angle, you can't 100% say it didn't cross the line. Get out and run with John De Silva, now isolated with Aviles to the end line. Cuts it back, oh, it's in! An own goal off Miller! They have a designated player. He's on the bench, Sabo Lobjanitze. We'll see him in the second half. He has two goals in three games. Wiley, Lennon for free! Allow Brooks Lennon the freedom to come forward. The freedom to come inside, come outside, wherever it may be. As this play develops, watch out for where Brooks Lennon, the right fullback in a 4-3-3, pops up. There's absolutely no reason for him to be that high unless the manager says, go get it, find it. Brooks Lennon throughout his entire career has showed the propensity to be good in the final third. That is his fourth goal in the year. He's got 10 assists. And how about that, Gonzalo Pineda? 3-1, Atlanta United here at home. He's never played on turf before. Wasn't worried about how it would be as that shot is blocked and it's a penalty, a handball. Tomas Aviles earning the penalty for Miami. who will have a chance to get right back into it. To someone from Atlanta United, does this hit the chest of Luis Abram before it hits him in the left arm? I think this hits him in the left arm across his body. Campana scores. Got Kazan to go the wrong way. Chande Silva, he is quite the player. Composed into Elmada. Elmada coming forward with Yakomakis and Lobjanice. Lobjanice, Yakomakis! Losing defenders, but now the composure here to play Almada. Now the question will be, when Loba Janice plays this ball across, is Yako Makis in an offside position? That is extremely tight. Loba Janice with the right ball, the right pace for Yako Makis to get on the end of it. That is extremely tight. Is it clear and obvious that he's in an offside position will be what VAR needs to look at. 
But that is one of the easiest of the 14 goals that Atlanta United and Jakub Makis has scored this year. For one assist, but forced an own goal and was instrumental in the fourth. Light years different. Ended up being a great ball, but Loeb Janitze's touch lets him down. Oh, the Miller gives it away. Sabo Loeb Janitze, Wolf in the middle. Loeb Janitze to Wolf! What a finish from Tyler Wolf! What a finish from Atlanta United! Surely on their way to take down Inter Miami for the first time! in the Lionel Messi era. And yet over the last week, there was a quiet confidence that this Atlanta United team is not the one you saw in July. It is not the one you saw in May. No those, Messi uh, today for my... those olives or pickles on it? Let me finish this. <laughs> uh, they were olives. <laughs>